What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you a fix for a really annoying problem in Windows where you've set your own custom cursor pack here, kind of skins for your cursor. So here I've downloaded and set up this Mario cursor which is really cool. But if you've ever done the same thing, what you've probably found out is that whenever you restart your PC, it reverts back to the old, um, the old normal Windows one. So you see here, I'm going to restart, and of course, I think this virtual machine knew that I was trying to make a video because it thought it would be a great idea for Windows updates. So, um, anyway, but, um, yeah, you'll see after I restart, you'll see that, um, once I restart my computer, it goes back to the, um, standard one is what I was saying. So you can see, look at this, it's gone back to the Windows one, and it's really annoying because then what you have to do is manually re-enable your um, custom cursor pack so um, here's the fix so you see here if I go into this PC go to local disk your hard drive and then I go to Windows you can see here there's a folder called cursors and when you go in that folder these are all the cursors in the Windows operating system and the problem that lies within is that our um, cursor pack is not in the cursor folder so wherever you have it saved I had mine in download since I downloaded it and extracted it there you need to take the extracted folder of your cursors bring them down into your local disk go into your windows and then drop them inside your cursor pack and you'll probably be asked for admin permission so go ahead and give it that and um, now you can see when I go back to pointers I get this error message that my custom cursor has been changed and that's going to give me a message for every single cursor so just keep clicking OK and basically what we have to do now is reassign all of our um, custom cursors to each thing so I um, went I opened the cursors folder and then I found my Mario cursors and then what I did is I started um, reassigning my cursors to um, their particular their correct ones so that's it took me a little while that's what I ended up doing and then I eventually hit OK and then it asked me if I wanted to overwrite the original and you want to click yes so now you can see I have my Mario cursors back but the question is is it going to show up correctly? Is is it going to not go back to Windows? And I know you're already thinking, what the heck? It went back to the original Windows one. But the problem is, it's a local thing. So when you log into your account, you can see now I have my cursors back. As soon as you put in your password or PIN or whatever and log into your account, then you'll get your custom cursors back because it's a user thing. Because like a different user could have a different cursor pack. But um, yep, once you log in, you have your cursors back. And um, that'll now happen since it's in the correct folder. So anyway, guys, that's basically all I wanted to show you is just a fix for how to not get reset to the standard Windows cursor upon startup. And I'll see you later.